It has been 522 days since the first reveal of Marvel Spider-Man 2. I have a question for you guys. Can you wait three more months? Because it's starting to look like that will be the soonest we see anything from Marvel Spider-Man 2, at least from a gameplay or trailer perspective. Last week, known insider Jeff Grubb broke news that PlayStation would indeed have a state of play in March. However, he warned not to get too excited because the state of play would likely be pretty low-key and not have any major reveals. However, he did reveal that Sony would have a larger PlayStation showcase around the time that E3 would take place, which means sometime around June or before June is what we're looking at essentially three months time. You guys know I've been covering the Activision Microsoft deal in previous videos because it looks like Sony is looking to wait and see what the outcome of that deal will be before showing off any major game reveals. I will reiterate what I've said in the past. Essentially, Sony is holding back all of their cool exclusives to make it seem like they would hurt if they were to lose Call of Duty in the Microsoft Activision deal. So essentially, they're holding everything back until that deal essentially gets blocked, which looks like it's possibly going to happen. Currently, it looks like the FTC and regulators in charge of blocking the Microsoft and Activision deal will have an answer or a report by the end of April. If that's the case and the deal does get blocked, then it would make some sense that Sony would want to show off their games now. The timing of this is all starting to add up. I mean, if you think about this deal possibly getting blocked at the end of April and Sony looking to do a showcase maybe in May, it just makes a ton of sense. So if we're to believe this report, it looks like we're about three months away from a PlayStation showcase. I, for one, am not getting my hopes up entirely. And here's why. Well, we keep getting our hopes up and nothing has happened so far. We've heard different reports from multiple sources that uh, PlayStation Showcase is going to happen and it doesn't happen. Or perhaps we're going to see something at the Game Awards or a Super Bowl commercial, <laughs> something like that. But it unfortunately hasn't happened yet. Now, I'm not mad at anyone for it. I'm just really anxious to see something. And I think that's just where my frustration is. I mean, like I said, 522 days is a long gap in between seeing something for this game. So I can see anyone being frustrated or, or like me, really anxious to see something, but I haven't been like overly disappointed. I'm not angry at anyone for this, but like I said, it looks like Three months is the timetable for the next PlayStation Showcase. I would feel a lot better just knowing that one is going to take place. Like if Sony said, hey, we're going to have an event in May. Good. That's that's all I would need to know. I can hold on for three more months, but I would feel a lot better if I just knew that one is actually going to happen and we had a date in place for it. That's not really how Sony typically operates. We usually don't get an announcement for anything like that until about a week before the actual event takes place. So we're looking at May before we hear anything. That is unless they want to surprise everyone during a state of play in March. And who knows, maybe they show off a story trailer. A minute and a half story trailer would do wonders. And then maybe during May and they do their PlayStation showcase, they can show off some actual gameplay, like maybe a 10 minute clip of gameplay. That would be pretty cool. But like I said, I'm not getting my hopes up for anything. I'm just letting you guys know what the word is right now. Let me know what you guys think about all this. Could you possibly wait three more months before seeing anything from Marvel Spider-Man 2? I'd love to know in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button to keep up with all things Marvel Spider-Man 2 because it's pretty much all I cover on the channel. Thank you again for watching and I'll talk to you guys later.